Christmas is wonderful. It's also astounding. Astounding. Because when we look at the facts, some of the facts around Christmas, some of the things about the birth of the Lord, some of the details which are there, it's astounding. Because you realize that something has happened which is remarkable. Remarkable. Never before in history. Something unique, something significant that has shifted the whole of history. So when we look at some of those prophecies, his birth was foretold. The birth of the Lord Jesus was foretold. His birth was a supernatural birth. A supernatural birth. Not a natural birth, a supernatural birth. A supernatural conception. A miraculous one. He was born of a virgin. And secondly, we see that the place of his birth, he was born in Bethlehem. The place of his birth was also foretold. The place of his birth came to be, it, it came like a government order. It came like something they were fulfilling in the natural, but actually they were fulfilling a prophecy, something that was foretold seven centuries back. And what's again interesting is that his name, that was also foretold and was fulfilled. His name. Um, in uh, Isaiah chapter 7, we, we read that verse. It says here, that The Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. So as God with us, there are certain things that, that he does. As God with us, there are certain things he does in our lives. And that very name bears significance. Right? He was named Jesus. Jesus means savior because he will save his people from their sins. So today, this morning, when we even consider that name, ponder that name, Emmanuel. Emmanuel is God with us because he will save us. He is God with us to save us. So you might be wondering, what should I be saved from? What must I be saved from? You know, the Bible says that when God created, he created everything perfect. It was good, it was perfect. But the Bible also says because of disobedience, sin entered man. And sin brought with it death, sin brought destruction, all kinds of wickedness that we see around. But he's Emmanuel, God with us, to save us from sin. To save us from the consequences of sin. You know, the Bible says that death came in because of sin. Death came in because of sin. You know, we see a lot of things happening around. Wickedness. It came because of sin. But Jesus was the only person who came, who was born sinless, who lived a sinless life, and he carried that penalty, that price. He carried it upon himself on the cross. It was not just the physical suffering, but the sin of the whole world was put on him, and he paid that price. Just so we can be reunited, we can be connected back to him. And we can have what the Bible says, eternal life. He's also God with us to indwell us. Now that's another thing. You know, maybe you're saved from your sin and you're saying, I have this life with God. I've made this decision. But the good news is this. He is God with us to indwell us, not sitting far away and directing us. He's saying, I want to be part of your life. I want to be with you. And we get back to him and say, Lord Jesus, I believe that, yes, you are the payment for my sin. And I invite you into my life. When we do that, the Bible says that he indwells us, the ever-present Father. He, sees, he never ceases to be the Father, the everlasting Father. And he's also the Prince of Peace. And that word shalom, it talks about happiness, it talks about well-being. He talks about healing, emotionally, physically, deliverance. He's the prince of shalom. And his reign is characterized by shalom. Amen. 